Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you ma? Hi, I'm ma Saro. Individual, ego video, ma. Most beautiful, my love. <sighs> You're so sweet. I love you for being you. Thank you. Your kind is rare. <laughs> Most beautiful. Here you go again. You're making my head swell. Stop, please, stop. So tell me, how was school today? Oh, fine. Oh, fine. Very cool. Everything went well. All right. So what do I offer you? Um, anything. Anything is nothing. What do you want? You're in the palace. We have everything. What do you want? Wine. Wine. Okay. Wine you shall have. Okay. <laughs> Udoka! Udoka! Okay, get us uh, wine, sweet wine, and uh, two glasses. Just like this. I want the next photo to be taken. What is this thing doing here? Princess Candy, I ask again, what is this fool doing here? What is he doing here? Ignore him. Ignore him. What are you doing here? Hey, welcome. Answer me, what are you doing here? Have you lost your mind? Don't you have respect for your in-law? My in-law? This thing would not be my in-law. Did you get it? Now, what, what are you doing here? Eh? If you think I will fold my arms and watch you marry the epitome of beauty in Umuchi Kingdom, then you must think again because you have failed. I don't want to see you anywhere close to this palace again. Did you hear what I said? The princess, my sister, is not your class. Did you hear what I said? Get out of this palace. Are you the one to decide for me? Are you the one to tell me who to marry or who not to marry? What is wrong with you? You're embarrassing my husband and I don't like it. If you are foolish, if you are foolish enough to accept this thing, we all are not foolish. Did you get what I'm saying? Get a step out of this. Now get out of this. He is not going anywhere. He is not going hey, anywhere. I don't want to have it. I don't want to eat you. Get out of here. 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 Did you hear what I said? Yes, if I see him anywhere close to this compound, I will kill you alive and I'm serious about it. I am not joking with you. I don't want to see him anywhere close to this compound again. Did you hear what I said? Nonsense. Let me see that he's not here again. Let me see that fool again. I, 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 I... Where is that stupid prince? Then I... what, what, what is the meaning of that rubbish again? Princess Gambi. Thought you were wise. Venna, you are a fool! What? You heard me! Do you know what I've done to my husband? No. Do you know? What I've done to that fool? What I've done to that pauper? What I've done to that good for nothing? Is that what you're talking about? You can go ahead and call me names. All you want, I don't care. I want you to know that that fool will not get married to you. That fool, I don't want to see him anywhere close to this compound again. You think you're better than Greg? What has come over you? Bena, what is wrong with you? Why have you allowed royalty to get into your head? Why? Well, let me answer that. Because we are royalty. And we should not settle for less. No. I'm 
want you to sink this into your thick skull. Nothing, nobody, not even you, will stop me from marrying Greg. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it ends. I want you to know that I don't want to see him anywhere close to this compound again. If you want to get married to him, go to his house. If he comes here again, I will burn him alive and I'm serious. And I want you it. to know that if you try this rubbish you did today again, you will see the other side of me. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? You want to fight me? You want to fight me because of a man? Oh, really? You want to? Okay, you want us to start war, right? You want us to start war, right? Okay, let's see how it ends. Let me see how it ends. I will mess you up and you will see it. I am not joking. Let me see that idiot in this compound again. And you, I will face you. If I see that idiot in this compound again, I will face you. Rubbish. Rubbish. Let me see that you chose me this up and again. Rubbish. You want to fight me because of a man? I am ready to fight you. I'm ready to fight you. I don't want to see that you chose again. Let's see how it fights. Rubbish. Rubbish. hearing noises yeah, look at your mood what's the problem father warn your son warn Vena. let him stay clear from my man my princess just calm down calm down w what happened what did he do i don't know what greg did to Vena to deserve the humiliation the embarrassment he gave to him moments ago what is it about royalty what is it because i don't get it but my princess you still have not said anything you are repeating the same thing. What, what did he do? Tell me. Talk to me. I was seated comfortably here, chatting happily with my man. Then I came from nowhere and started embarrassing him, calling him names. That he's a church rat, common school teacher. And he eventually chased him out of the palace and told him not to return again. You mean Vena insulted my in law? He did worse, father. He manhandled him and pushed him out of this palace. What? He did that? Father, I kept my cool because of the respect I have for you. I will not be this calm next time. I will forget that we are siblings and I will get Vena arrested. Warn him, Father. Warn him. here in this palace. I didn't train Venatius to be an animal. Why is the queen and the prince bent on denying my daughter of her happiness in her marriage? I was once a teacher. Today, I am the king. Not just a man king, a king of an important kingdom in Egypt. I was at my lowest step. Then today I am at the top. There is nothing 
absolutely nothing that God can I was not what I am today, but today I'm the king. Why are they bent on frustrating the young man, Greg? He has the potential of rising to the top. celebrated? Why are they treating teachers with disdain and disrespect? Without teachers, you will have engineers, medical doctors, lawyers, any profession for that. Teachers are supposed to be celebrated. I think it's time I stopped this madness before it escalates to some others. Yes. I have to stop it. Father, he called you. Yes, I sent for you. Sit down. I said, sit down. Oh. Venom. Venom. Will you stop pressing that thing before I, I smash it on the floor? Hey, Father, I have some documents I want to send you. And so? You cannot send your documents before you come here? I said, drop that phone! Father, what is your problem now? Huh? No, oh, I... yeah, 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 yes. Is, that, is it a crime for me to, to press my phone? Is it a crime for me to send documents to someone? Yes, it's a crime. Whenever you are in my presence, you don't do that. Now, drop that phone this minute. Okay, go ahead and tell me the reason you called me. Because I have some important stuff I'm attending to. Well, what is it that I heard that you did to Greg, our in-law, when he visited the palace earlier today? Oh. They brought that report to you? Well, very well then. Whoever that um, brought the report to you did well. Are you out of your senses? Father, I am not out of my senses. What I'm saying is that that good for nothing is in no way a match to my beautiful sister. I do not know the reason you approve that marriage. I don't like it. If I see him anywhere close to this palace, I will set him ablaze and I'm serious about it. Will you drop that phone? Drop the phone! And don't you ever try it again. When I'm talking to you, don't press your phone. Well, I can see that um, you started smoking weed. But this is not about smoking. I am serious in all that I've said. That good for nothing, that wretched, useless classroom teacher is in no way a match to my beautiful sister. They are not compatible. I don't want to see him anywhere close to this palace because I will kill him alive and I'm serious about it. It's all right. 
I know exactly what to do. Since you have decided to bring ignominy to this royal household. Father, I don't care what you want to do. Whatever thing you want to do, you should go ahead and do it. I don't care. All I'm saying is that I don't want to see that idiot in this palace again. I am serious about it. If I see him anywhere close to this palace, I will set him ablaze. I will burn him and I'm serious about it. And I will ensure that you rot in jail. Oh, really? Yes, because you will face the full wrath of the law. Okay, no problem. Go ahead and do your worst. But what I'm saying is that if I see him anywhere close to this palace, I will set him ablaze and I'm serious about it. Go ahead and tell him that I said so. It's all right. I think something is wrong with him. Yes, something is certainly wrong with him. And I will see to it that that thing that is pushing him is taken out of him. Not picking my calls. My love, please pick my call. I want to hear your voice. Leave me alone, princess. Huh? At least I'm not a prince. I am not rich, as stated by your brother. But I'm proud as a class teacher. I am proud being a class teacher. What are you doing here? Please don't do this to us. Please. Get up, please. Get up, get up, get up your royalty. I don't care about royalty. I don't care. Don't put me into trouble. You know your royalty. You're not supposed to be seen kneeling down for a commoner like me. Get up. Like I said, I don't care. 
I love you. not been fine for some time. I'm sorry about that. My love, if you want this, our marriage to work, you must learn to tolerate my brother. He humiliated me. I know, but you have to forgive him, okay? You have to put everything that happened behind you. That is the only way we can move our relationship to the next level. I have done that already. Thank you. But there is no doubt, I see there is a contention already. Contention? How do you mean? I have decided not to wait till December like we planned. But in two weeks time, I will be coming with my people to come and pay your dowry and take you away from that palace before your mind get corrupted by evil energies. My love, Dear. look at me. Nobody will take me away from you. Nobody. Should I believe you? Don't you trust me enough? Well, I do. I love you Why is everything happening like this? Is it because I have not paid her dowry? I think this month's salary will be used to pay her dowry. They are oppressing me because I am a teacher. So anyone that is a teacher does not get married anymore. Or is it because she is from a royal home? This world is not balanced. This world is not balanced. God, are you partial or what? Are you partial or what? Teachers, 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 unto. I said unto to you people because without us there is no nation. We make doctors, presidents. We make doctors, presidents, commissioners, ministers, governors. Yet we are not recognized. Our salaries are like peanuts. The people we make are higher than us. That is why this world is not balanced.
spend your money with your kids when you're out. Of this palace, I want to leave. I want to leave. Better, I'm tired. I want Better. to leave. Please, let's just go and continue before they This is unbelievable. Go, go. Are you okay? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My friend, UK, UK, UK. You look worried. What is it? I just want to kill somebody. Oh, please, just calm down. Tell me what is it? What happened? JC, I'm just coming back from my uncle's house. And guess what? Stop, oh, please. There's no time to guess. Just split it out. What happened? The almighty prince of this land nearly killed him. How? Why would a prince do such a thing? Why would he want to kill his own in-law? They said the marriage is over. According to my uncle, he was discussing in the sitting room with his wife when the prince barged in and started beating him. As if it's not enough, he brought out cutlass to cut him. Oh my God, what madness. So what about the king and the queen? What is their take? You know the king cannot do anything. He cannot say anything. Yes, because he was the only one that is in support of the marriage. As for Lolo, I'm sure she's supporting her only son. Do you know, why are they doing this? Eh? Why are they doing all this? Is it because he's your uncle? Eh? Let's assume that he's someone like Omenife's son. Of course they wouldn't dare now. Eh? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this to your uncle? My uncle is just one teacher now. Just like they used to call him before. Even at that. See, eh? If not for one thing. Just one thing. Just small thing like this, eh? I will just go and fight for my uncle. UK, I need you to calm down. You know, sometimes that guy behaves like, like courtes. On a serious note, apparently he looks like one. Listen, I don't care. I don't care. Because once I report him to the bad boys in my school, they will deal with him. Yes. And let me tell you something. My boyfriend is a courtes. Leave me. Let me UK. talk. It will not cost me anything to do that. And I want you to know that the outcome will not be funny. You know what that means? 
That is why I'm holding myself. Hey, can you imagine? Just because he's now a prince now, so he thought the world would come to an end of what? That man has beaten more that, like he has beaten more. Seriously. He has forgotten all that. He has forgotten that his father used to be a teacher. One teacher. He has forgotten all that. But everything will be fine. I know what to do. Yes, everything will be fine. But I need you to be fine, okay? I'm fine. Don't worry. You're not. How can you say you're fine? He's written all over you. You're not. You're worrying too much. Let's go inside. Till Greg and I are done with our marriage. Says who? Candy, if you don't go to that police station to release my son, I will do something stupid. I'll do no such thing, mother. Or what? Mother, move. I don't want to disrespect you. Move. All right, we shall see. Wrong with you? Why your face like that? Ah. What? Why is your face like this? Huh? Papa. Huh? I went to my uncle's house. What happened? He was beaten by the prince of this land. What? What did he do that warranted the prince to lay his hands on his in-law? Exactly my question. Exactly my question. It's not only that though. He said the prince asked him not to come to the palace again. That he will no longer marry Princess Candy. Yes. What nonsense. He actually does not want my brother to marry his sister. Does not give him that impetus to lay his hands on him. No. Papa, the prince is pointing his fingers at you people. You and your brother. Because he knows you cannot do anything. But you have to do something. Papa, yeah. you have to do something though. Yes, you have to do something. Show the prince that you can do something. Because nobody is above the law. What he did was abuse of marital rights. Yes. He doesn't have any right to, 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 to touch my uncle. What's that now? You have to do something. You can't just sit and say, the prince, the prince, the prince. Well, what you said is true. He does not have any right to lay his hands on him. I'm just regretting why I was made a woman. If not, eh, you see that prince, eh? He would have seen the bitter part of me. Manaya deba. Papa ya deba o. He should not forget that. There is God and he's watching. Does he cure any injury? I'm not sure, but he complained of body pain, which I bought drugs for him. Don't worry. I will go and see the king and ask him if he, if he was aware of what you told me. Papa, he was aware. Yes, he was. What do you expect him to do? 
a man that is acting as if he's under a spell. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. Papa, don't tell me to shut up. Don't tell me to shut up because I'm saying nothing but the truth. Don't tell me to shut up now. Let me ask you one question. When my mother was still alive, did she ever argue or disobey any of her words? Answer me. Did she? Of course you cannot answer. Because you know I'm saying the truth. Ah. Okay, go. My good wife. Omari Cham. I'm sorry, Papa. I didn't mean to remind you of the past. But let's just call a spade a spade. That woman is remoting the king like a toy. But don't worry. Her days are not bad. My friend shift. Grand, bring me food to eat. I beg. I'm hungry. Food? Food. Papa, did you say food? Yes. Like you want to eat. If I give you food now, you will eat. I'll eat it very well. Papa, I just told you that the prince beat your only brother and you are here talking of food. You want to eat food? Ah, is he dead? You told me that the prince beat my brother. So I will go hungry because the prince beat my brother. Go and get me food to eat. I will see him later. Papa, it's not later. You're supposed to go and see the king now. Not later. Papa, go and see him now. Not food. Go and see him. Go there. Go there and, 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 and talk with the, the, the king. Go there and fight. You are a man. Papa, go. I should go and see the king with empty stomach. Then if I'm going on the road, I fall. They will say this man is not feeling well. My friend, go and give Papa, me you food. cannot fall. Papa. You cannot fall. But don't worry. If you don't want to go, Papa, I can go. Yeah. I'll just go there and scatter things. You know me now. I'll just go there and scatter things. I'll, I can go there. Go. You should know me. Oh. Go there now. What is stopping you? I can go there. No sense. Can you imagine? I can go. Go there. <laughs> yes, love. He has been arrested. Uh-huh. Come on, sweetie, it's necessary. Listen, I am getting rid of any and every negative energies around us. I'm sure by now he will be cooling off in the police cell. <laughs> and he's going to be there till we are done with our marriage. <laughs> Don't worry, my love. Everything is under control, okay? <laughs> ah, sweetie, I have to call you back. Take care of yourself. I love you. Kisses. You think you've won yourself a trophy by arresting your brother, the Prince of Umuchi Kingdom? Hmm? Well, mother, I'm going to get married to Greg, with or without your consent. You will not marry that wretch. <laughs> I will marry Greg. I can never be mother-in-law to that pauper. Well, you're not the one getting married to Greg here. I am. Then you won't get my blessing. Who cares? I have the blessings of God. That of my heart. That's all. Excuse me. I'm waiting to go out. Hey, yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, see, yes, I was saying. So, he just is out of our way. I will soon know that which beats the drum. Yes. Makosa kosa. Yo makana. Ojwa. Makosa kosa. Yo makana. Ojwa. 
<laughs> a little patient and she would have ended up with the right man, Dr. Philip. Both of you will not make me leave my marriage. Not for anything in this world. Oh, really? I can see that that fool used charms on you. But that will not work. Did you hear what I said? That charms will not work in this palace, in this kingdom. Well, it will interest you to know that I married Greg out of love. He did not use any charm on me. What we feel for each other is natural. Who pair? Love. What stupid love are you talking about? That we trained you in one of the prestigious universities we have around in this country. All you could do is to end up marrying a poor classroom teacher for a payback or what? A man who cannot fed for his family. Look at you. Look at what he has reduced you into. Love, my friend. You can say that again, Mom. My sister has lost herself because of stupid love. Look at you. Look at the way you are dressed. People will not even recognize you as royalty. Thank you, Bella. I'm fine. You're not. I'm sure you don't have a mirror in that house. Do you? <laughs> Mother, I want to ask you one question. Which is? Did you marry my father as a king? Excellent question, my beautiful daughter. Ask her. Now. You are pretending conveniently that you didn't fall in love with me as a classroom teacher. Were you a classroom teacher or a principal? What difference does it make? A, lot. a classroom teacher, a principal. What difference does it make? The fact remains that you didn't marry my father as a king. So I'm only following your footsteps. Well, we were not feeding from my father. Hello. You're back. Yes. I hope you're okay. Yes, I'm fine. How was school today? School. It's fine. Are you okay? I'm fine. Fine. Let me get you something to eat. I know you must be tired.
Are you sure this man is not using old on you? Hmm? Mother, you are yet to tell me the reason for your sudden visit. Because I've been married for five months and you've not called. You and your son have not called or visited to check up on us. Am I stupid to visit here? This God for second place? Come on, my princess, everywhere stinks. Mother! What have you come to do in this godforsaken stinking place? Hmm. Well, since Mohammed has refused to go to the mountain, the mountain has decided to come to Mohammed. Princess, you've not been taking my call. So I have decided to come to this altar to inform you that Dr. Phillips will be coming to the palace with his people to perform the traditional rites and take you to live with him in America. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
Is this a joke? A better man the fitting of your status and not this great who is complete failure. There you go, insulting my husband again. But I have made it clear that I am not part of this madness. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Get rid of that pregnancy. And come marry one who is befitting of you. I should do what? Divorce Greg. Divorce Greg. That's it, mother. You have overstayed your welcome. Now get up and get out of my house. You heard me the first time, mother. Get out of my house! like his so-called husband built for himself. Yes, mother, we all know the story of Philip in this kingdom. Every man has his time of glory. So was my father, your husband. And very soon, it will be my husband's turn. <laughs> Still a child, my God. Greg, complete failure. No, 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 mother. I take an exception to that. I will not have you insult my husband before me in my house. Don't push me. I'm trying so hard to respect you as my mother. Don't push me, please. Don't. upon myself. Never.
Hello, my princess. How are you? Greetings, father. Greetings. How is my in-law? He has gone to school. I hope you're fine. I hope everything is okay. Well, we are... We are fine. No. From what I'm hearing from your voice, my daughter that I know, I don't think you're fine. Honestly, I am not okay. I thought as much. So what's the problem? Father, since I got married to Greg, my mother has not called or, or visited to check up on us. All of a sudden, she won't allow me rest simply because Philip is back from overseas. Look, my princess. Don't listen to your mother. Okay? Father, are you aware of what she's telling me to do? Does she even know the implication of what she's delving into? <sighs> Father, I don't know why she's always giving me this impression that she's not worthy to be called my mother. Like I said, my daughter, don't listen to your mother. Stay with your husband, okay? Thank you, Father. Look, what your mother is asking you to do is sacrilegious according to our customs and traditions. Don't listen to your mother. Stay with your husband. I'm solidly behind you, okay? Thank you, Father. Good. Taking those? My queen, his highness. On whose order are you taking this? My queen, Igwe demands we take them to the princess and the husband. For what? For what purpose? Are you all going to stand and not answer my question? No, my queen. Ife Chupu. It's my queen. Where you came from? Do your parents feed your marriage sister with her husband and relatives? Mm, no, my queen. Your answer is no, right? Yes, my queen. I saw the boat open. I believe the rice yeah. and tubers of yam are also going to be taken to the princess. Yes, I dropped the... Good. We dropped the rice and the tubers of... So, tubers of yam is there. If I close my eyes and open them and you still stand them without returning those items from my pot and store where you took it from and go to the car and remove that bag of rice and tubers of yam, I will chop all of your heads off. Now get out! Please! Turn. And that boat is still open, and the rice in there with troubles of yam. academic doctor Umuchi has produced. My queen, 
enough of the praises. I am actually flattered. I owe my gratitude to the king, your husband. Oh, come on. We owe our lives and everything we have to the gods and not mortals. Well, you're right. But the king, your husband, allowed the gods to use him for my sake. If not, I would have ended up a wretched man. Exactly. Um, what can I offer you? I have everything. Okay. Saying this? Are you sure? I'm good. Very. Speaking about Igwe Festus saving my husband. Do you know that he supported the princess marrying that poor classroom teacher? He did. The prince and I fought it. We did everything possible to stop them. But the king said we should allow the princess to follow her heart. Her heart? I'm sorry, but when I heard about it, I, I didn't believe it. I mean, the princess of this kingdom getting married to a, a classroom teacher. In my opinion, I feel like you shouldn't have allowed that. We tried. Do you know that the princess called the police on our brother on this case? Did it get that far? It was worse than that. Wow. I know it will come to a point where she will start regretting her actions. Surprising to hear. Do you know to fit twice a day in that house is a problem? We used to carry food items from the palace to them all the time. Are you kidding me? She's full of regrets. <laughs> My queen, the truth is I've always loved the princess. And my intention was to make her mine. I wanted to get married to her. But... What, my son? It is never too late. She's just five months old in that stupid marriage. There's no child yet. My queen, are you saying I can still get married to her? Of course, because the magic is not working out. So I still have hope? Yes. She wants to quit. Like I said earlier, she's regretting her actions. Oh, okay. <laughs> Things uh, understand. Still works. What have we come to do here again? Oh, let's talk, let's talk. No. Say whatever you have come to say here. I insist we go in and talk. Walls have ears. And I insist you say whatever you want to say here. Privacy? Since you have decided that you want us to wish our dating leanings outside. No problems. Well, I've come to inform you that Dr. Phillips has agreed to marry you on the condition that you will leave this thing you call marriage. He said he's not keen about the pregnancy. He wants to marry you, give you a better life and take you away from this 
Gorta. You know what that means? It will take you away from Greek, from poverty, to America, to start over like a princess that you are. You know what I think? I think your doctor, Philip, is sick. Excuse me? You heard me. He is very stupid. I mean, I expected better from someone like him. He wants me to leave my husband. Just to marry him. Someone that I have no feelings for. Somebody that I don't love. That I know nothing about. Oh, oh. He thinks he can buy me over because he has money. Well, mother, go back and tell him that even with all the money in this world, I will not marry him. Of course you will marry him. What has come over you? Do you know what you're rejecting? How can someone who has a gold mine been looking for gold dust? He wants to take you away and give you a better life. What is wrong with you? What is moving you? What is controlling you? Again, Mother, I have overstayed your welcome. Please leave. I will leave. But you have to listen first. If you make me lose the chances of becoming Philip, Mother-in-law, I won't threaten to disown you as a daughter, but you will like me. Mark my words, you will not like me. Mark my What is this for crying out loud? Why is the whole place messed up like this? 
Hello, honey. Greg, you're back. Honey, did you just call me by my name? Ah, sorry, love. You're welcome. What happened? Why is the whole place messed up like this? Sweetheart, you're back now. So please help me fix it. Hmm? I'm sleeping in the room. Thank you. Let me go back to sleep. Not the wife that I married. No, this is not business. Something is wrong somewhere. This morning before going to school. I'm hungry. There's no food. I don't get it. What do you mean by there is no food? You, what do you mean by it? I don't get it? My teacher, can't you understand simple English again? Eh? There's no food in this house. When you were living in the morning, did you drop money for food? So I, I, I didn't get it. Honey, I didn't get it. What has come over you? Just look at the way you spoke to me in the city room as if I offended you. Well, if I have offended you, please know that it is unwilling. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. Yes, you have offended me. You have offended me by not taking proper care of me. Greg, look at me. Look how haggard I am. Was I like this when you came to the palace to marry me? Was I like this? I've been suffering in this house. Hunger, starvation. Uh, he, he, there, stand there asking me if you have offended me. Yes, you have offended me. Sweetheart, but His Majesty said he was going to send food across the world. You should be ashamed of yourself. His Majesty said you're going to send food across the world. So we should depend on the palace before we eat. Are you not ashamed? You have not paid me much now. That's why I said you should take your job, but you really confused. What did you say? No, are you trying to insult me? You are now insulting the princess of this kingdom. You are calling me jobless, unemployed. Eh? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Look at this one. You should be ashamed of yourself. Eh? You are calling me lazy, jobless. You want to use my unemployment as an excuse for not living up to your responsibilities as a man. Look at you. You should cover your face in shame. Rubbish. Princess Candy, are you now regretting marrying me? Regret is an understatement. Now I know why my mother and brother kicked against me marrying you. Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! Now I know. I married the wrong man. I married the wrong man. Ah! Greg, you are the wrong man. Ah! She's now regretting accepting my proposal. Love is not all it takes. 
for a marriage to work. Money has a major role to play. I thought I love Greg, but no. What I feel for him is pity. Pity, not love. Princess, if I understood, you are ready to walk away and obey your mother, right? Yes, mother. I'm ready to marry Dr. Philip since he's ready to marry me despite the fact that I was married before. Oh, I'm glad. Philip has been waiting for you to leave that bridge. Now that you have accepted to marry him, I should take you to this meeting perhaps. But first, you have to go for an abortion. Princess. Are you ready to greet your teeth and go through this? Have you made up your mind to terminate that fate was in your womb? Yes, my mind is made up. Sounds good. When you meet with Philip, do not mention pregnancy or abortion to him. By the time you sit and talk with Philip, you will realize that he's not a man who says a thing and fails to do it. Mother, we are going to have we're going to have a little challenge here. Which is Greg knows about this pregnancy. In fact, he went with me to the hospital the day I did the pregnancy test. What will I tell him happens to the pregnancy? Well, if he becomes nosy as to know what happened to the pregnancy, tell him there was no pregnancy and you were just pretending all this while. Come on, you can go through this. It's, it's just a fetus. Huh? One lateral injection and everything will be washed.
Get you Melilda. You just take it now and later. Before tomorrow, you're okay. <laughs> Sorry. Mother, are, are you sure we did the right thing? Of course. Yes. <laughs> That's the only way out. Come on, let's go inside. <laughs> You'll be fine. Mother, he's really doing well for himself, I must say. I told you. This is the kind of life that befits a princess. But what's keeping him? We've been waiting for some time calm now. Calm down, Candy. Didn't you hear the house up when he said that he's taking a nap? It's over here. Do you see the slabs? Very nice. Oh. Hello. Hello, doctor. Mother. Yeah. You're here. I am. <laughs> nice to see you, Mom. Nice to see you too. I'm quick. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Um. Uh, hi. How are you? We're told you uh, you were taking a nap. Oh yes, I uh, I had a busy day, so uh, I fell asleep. Oh. But I, I tried to get some sleep but when I had the chance to. Very important yeah. to go off stress. I know. Mm. So who, who's the, the beautiful woman with you? Oh, my daughter, Princess Candy. Ah, wow. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. You have grown into a, a beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I have to leave both of you to talk while I rush back to the palace to do one or two things. Uh, let me offer you something to Oh, prove. come on. I'm all right. No, I want to offer you something. I mean, you're my guest. Okay, I need to take care of you. Stop. Okay. That's fine. Yes. All right, then. See ya. Call me when you want to talk. Bye. Princess gone to. Since I came back from work, I have not set my eyes on her. And she's not picking her calls.
Since you stepped into this house, I have been observing you. You have this look on your face. Something wrong? Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing's better. It's okay, you can tell me what the problem is. You can share it with me. Like I said, there's, there's nothing to talk about. I'm fine. Can I ask you a question? Okay. You know, I've been wondering um, why did you get married to a classroom teacher? to be with you. Don't talk about Greg. And who was Greg, by the way? My husband. Sorry. My ex. Oh, your ex. You met him already. Princess now hates my gods and treats me like trash. I didn't force her to marry me. We fell in love with each other and she accepted my proposal because I was the love of her life. But everything has changed. Everything has changed. They have fallen apart like a pack of cards. Huh? If I call her now, she will come back to shout on me, saying, why will I call her? Why will I be disturbing her?
Did your mother tell you why I came back from the U.S.? Yes, she did. Oh. Brilliant. You see, Candy, I have always loved you. Um, everything that I'm about to do is to prove how much I love you. I promise myself I'll get married to you once I get back from the U.S. Your father was a very nice man to me. In fact, I said to myself that once I come back to the U.S., I'm going to get married to you. Your father did so much for me. He sacrificed for me. I promised myself I'll do everything in my power to be a part of his family. But unfortunately, when I came back, I was told you're married. It felt like my world was going to crumble. I cried every night. I cried every night. Because my plan was to return to the U.S. with you. Well, my marriage with Greg is as good as dead. I'm just waiting for the necessary formalities to be done. Sorry, what necessary formalities? Serving in divorce papers and for my father to return the bread price he paid on my head. Well, I strongly believe everything will be sorted out. Well, do you think we are doing the right thing here? Divorcing my husband just to marry you. You see, the truth is, being divorced is not bad. Most especially when the people involved are not compatible. They can go their separate ways. Candy, I've always loved you. And I want to strongly believe that he outsmarted me and took you before I got to you. Well, why didn't you say something? You speak with my father on the phone almost every day. Why didn't you ask to speak to me? I mean, why wait for another man to marry me before coming with your marriage proposal? Now you're making me go through what I'm going through right now, and it's not fair. Well, you're right. I mean, I should have told you a long time ago. But the truth is, I wanted to look you in the eye and say it. Now, I'll have to leave my five months old marriage just to please my mother and my brother. I'm sorry, Ken, you feel that way. But the truth is, you're in safe hands. I'll take care of you. You're a princess, and I strongly believe you should be treated like one. I'll take care of you, I promise. I can't wait to... Uh, Return to the US with you. Useless man. So my wife is not still back in this house. And where could she have gone to with her phone switched off? I came back from school since 3 o'clock. And up till now, the princess has not come back. No food in this house. I'm very hungry. Okay.
when she must have entered when I was lying down on the couch sleeping. But she didn't bother to wake me up. I'm shouting. I'm shouting on top of my voice. I'm a mad woman. I'm shouting. The crime you committed is by marrying me into this your poverty stricken house. You brought me here to stab me to death. Honey. No, don't honey me. Don't try it again. Honey, you bitter leaf. Why did you marry me, Greg? Why did you marry me? That's him, honey. Brother Prince Vena have succeeded in sowing seed of discourse in this home. Go ahead and say all the rubbish you want to do again. Greg, I am done. D O N E, done. Divorce me, let me go. No, I can't. You're my wife. I won't let you go. You can't. Greg, you can't. Eh? I'm not doing the game now by force. Is it by force? Anyway, I don't want to have your back. I am booking me camera. If I jammer, I wanna move that love, yeah, man. Oh boy, oh yeah, man. I'm not too high. Hey, Chimo, but I love my cinema. I be gonna be a queen on a man. Please forgive me. Forgive all my known and unknown things towards you. Please find a place in your heart to forgive my conscious and unconscious sin towards you. Please. Is this rubbish that you talk about? I'm afraid my head. Why are you doing this to me? Do you want me to die of heartbreak? Please. Who is that my business? You can die of heart attack for all I care. Let me be! Not so easily. How we started, our tears together, we fought and we won. Princess, I love you. I remember everything. Our tears together, how we fought, won all the suffering, and I've come to realize that I fell in love with the wrong person. No! You never did so to say. I meant the words to you. Hmm. Are you done weeping on sentiment? Princess, I love you. Just tell me one thing. One thing that I've done against you and I'm apologize. One thing you've done against me. Yes. No poverty. Do not there is a person who get problem when they use English now. Continue speaking English. You've been quoting English, speaking English, quoting Bible, praying since, but nothing has happened. <coughs> What are you still doing in that house? My time is ticking. My love, I'm just taking my time. You know, I can't wake up and uh, leave the house just like that. I mean, it won't go down well with the king. Do you want me to tell him myself? No, you don't need to. My mother and my brother will take care of that. All right, they need to be fast about it. The truth is, I'm working on your travel documents. And the moment we're done with the traditional wedding, we're leaving this country as soon as possible. 
Huh? I can't wait to leave Greg's house. All right, then do the needful and let's get on with it. Huh? Yeah. I will. So we need to be fast. Okay, okay, that's fine. It's okay. I love you. I love you too, but we actually need to be fast. Yeah. I'm preparing to spread my legs now. Since you are blind, you are blind. You didn't see my box. You didn't see chooks with my box. What is it? So, what happens to her? What is it? What are you talking about? I'm not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. Why are you swear that you're not pregnant? Why would I swear? No, why do you want me to swear? Princess, what you a pathological liar? How can you say you're not pregnant? How can you say I'm pregnant? Excuse me. Excuse me, but what? 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 I'm waiting. Princess, this PT test confirms that you are three months pregnant. This is a scan, which confirms also that you are three months pregnant. How can you say they are not pregnant? out of her matrimonial form. What do they stand to gain? Queen Akuyodo, there is nothing you will not do. What do you stand to gain by chasing your daughter out of her matrimonial home? the princess who had earlier greeted her teeth and stood by the one she loved has joined them. I just hope she will not regret this. What is going on? This is Black Wednesday. Princess, if Isusaya had told me that you one day get up and leave me, I would never have believed.
is not picking his call. I hope he's all right. I, I, I don't want my in-law to harm himself. I just hope he will not do something stupid to himself. That young man is a good man. He shared his plans with me. When he said he was starting a extramural class, I, I loved it. He planned to conduct both internal and external exams, open an exam center. I mean, he had very robust plans. And I was happy for him. Now that his plans are beginning to give results, the wife has left him. I can feel his pains. I just hope that young man can survive this because of his love for my daughter. What is wrong with my daughter? How can she just abandon her five month old marriage just like that? Now she has left the poor boy to his fate. God. is the reason why I'm like this. Okay, so what happened to your uncle again? Hmm? The princess. I mean, how could a girl be treating a man she calls her husband like this? How? Is it because my uncle doesn't talk? Is it because he's a quiet type? Is it because he's from a poor background? I don't get it. The whole thing is just confusing me. But she should remember that he who doesn't know how to talk has God. There is God though. There is God up there. Of watching. course there is God. But you haven't told me the problem. So what is it? What happened to your uncle again? Do you know that that idiot raised her filthy hands on my uncle? What effort? Because she's the princess of this land. The princess. What is wrong with that lady? What is her problem? No matter what conspired between them, that will not and should not give her the audacity to raise her filthy hands on him. That's wrong. Is marriage by force. It's not. Okay. If you are tired, if you are tired of my uncle, why not walk away instead of tormenting him? Why not leave? Why not leave? She doesn't want to leave. She just wants to kill my uncle. She just wants to torment that man. Mickey, please, you need to calm down, okay? But I suggest you should talk to your uncle. You need to talk to him. He should man up. He's a man. He should act like a man. Eh? See, the earlier your uncle realizes the wrinkles that woman has brought to his life, the better for him. What is all this? Eh? 
my uncle doesn't listen to anybody, including me. If not, I would have dealt with that idiot called Princess. Who is she, Seth? Princess this, Princess that. Who is she? Who is Princess? UK, you still need to take things easy, okay? But I still maintain the fact that you should talk to your uncle. Yes, you should talk to him. Eh? He should stop making himself less a man. He's wrong. He should act up like a man. You see that woman? You see Lolo? Eh? Nemesis awaits her. That woman will never go scot free. Mm. Mark my words. You see that woman? She will suffer for trying to deny my brother his rights. Just because of money. Ego wa. Ega de jafo. That woman will suffer. She will suffer. Oh. She will not go free. Sometimes I wonder why God keeps quiet in some certain things. Eh? I think this is a period where your uncle needs God the most. God needs to come and intervene for him and fight for the poor. You know, he needs justice. But does it mean that the king is not aware of all these atrocities that has been happening? The because king? as a king, he should not support evil. The king? Of course, the king. As if you don't know. He doesn't talk. The king is confused. He's worthless. Yes. He doesn't have say anymore. Do you know that I heard that the king has tried several times to resolve this issue? But the Lola refused. She refused. She doesn't want to say to, like, she, she just wants to torment my uncle. She doesn't want to listen to anybody. She, she derived joy in hurting that man. Okay, so where is he now? Who? Your uncle, of course. He's at home. Shedding tears. Go there, you'll see him. Shedding tears, you see? Why? Don't tell me that I have been talking to myself since. Don't tell me that. Though. The princess has succeeded in turning my uncle to a baby. Yes. Go to his house and see things for yourself. He's just there crying, behaving like a baby. He accepted and allowed the princess to turn him to a baby. Yes. Because he's acting less than a man. What do you expect? I see no reason why he has refused to cut off the marriage. I don't just know. Like you said before, marriage is not by force. So he should back off. I don't know what is wrong with my uncle. I don't just know. I, like, I don't understand the kind of love that he has for this woman. This one is I no don't longer know. love because he doesn't have peace of mind. So there's no love there. He should just back off. It's fine. It's fine. If he dies, we'll bury him. Yes. After all, he's not even up to the people that have died. <laughs> so easy to say. Like, you can bear his death. I don't want him to die. <laughs> I still want him. But he's behaving somehow. You can never seem to amaze me. This minute you want him to die. The next minute you don't want him to die. Okay, so can you just share up? Share up. Come on. I'm fine. You're fine. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what did you cook? What did you bring? Okay. Since you didn't make any food in your house, follow me to my house and I'll dish out lots of delicacy for you to enjoy. Trust me now. You know when it comes to food, I can actually make good meals more than you. You know that. Hey, don't even try to. You know rich me half. You don't say, try it. no, you're only good in making native foods. But when it comes to delicacy, like yummy delicacy, come on, trust me now. <laughs> Give me the credit. I am better than you. Ah, it's a lie, and you know it. Yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. Should we bet? Have a mosin. <laughs> At least you can now smile. I'm fine. Of course. I'm at the palace, as we speak. You know I'm doing all these things because of you, right?
<laughs> yes. Hold on, hold on. Come in. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, what is it? The king demands for your presence. I'll be with him shortly. Hey, baby. Sorry about that. The king sent for me. Probably to ask me why I left the teacher. <laughs> I have to go now. I should see what? <laughs> okay, 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 fine. I'll see. Why did it take you so long to come see me? I was on the phone when the guard came to call me. It's all right. Sit down. Thank you, Father. Now tell me, why did you come back to the palace? Well, I came back to the palace because I am done with the marriage. Why? Did you have a fight with your husband? Father, I am done with Greg. I want to move on with my life. You're done with Greg. <laughs> Did he beat you up? As a matter of fact, Greg has never laid a finger on me. So, why do you want to leave him? Father, you see, that man's poverty is beginning to affect me. So I have to leave. My daughter, can you tell me your definition of poverty? <laughs> Father, poverty has no definition. I mean, the definition of poverty is poverty. Everybody knows that poverty is a curse. You can see where this is coming from. Something is bothering me, and I want to discuss it with you. What could that be? Papa, yeah. it's about your brother and his wife. Papa, are you going to sit and watch that woman destroy your only brother? Are you going to allow her to kill him? Or are you trying to say that you don't know about what is happening? I am aware of everything. But there's nothing I can do. What? Papa, did you just say that? There's nothing you can do? Wait, wait, I want to understand something. Are you scared of the king? I am not afraid of anyone, even the king. Then do something. Papa, if you're not scared of them, do something before it's too late. Do something, Papa. Papa, can I at least say something as regards to this matter? Go ahead. I am all ears. Say everything. Papa, I decided to chip in something the moment I heard you say that there is nothing you can do. Papa, I'm sorry to say, but that statement is wrong. Because your brother's life is at stake. 
Darling. And if anything should happen to him, you will have yourself to be blamed and you regret me ever making that statement. Papa, the princess is a human being just like every other person in this community. She can be cautioned. As an elderly man, you can walk up to the king and talk to him. If that girl should succeed and kill your brother, there is nothing nobody can do to bring him back to life. There's this adage that says, he who wears the shoes knows where it pinches. Greg is the solution to all these talks we are doing here. If he stands tomorrow or now and says he's no longer happy or he doesn't want to continue with the marriage, I'll take him to the palace and um, collect back the dowry. Papa, you know your brother can never do that. He can never say that he doesn't want the princess anymore. He can't. You have to do it by yourself. Don't just wait for him. I have done that severally. Oh, Papa, have you at least talked to him before? That's right. That's what I said. Papa, you have not. You have not talked to him as a father. You have not done that. How do you expect me to do that as a father? Papa, you have to sit him down. Sit him down and talk to him because you are his father. I know if your parents were to be alive, trust me, all these things will not happen. They will not take it. They will never take it. I know them. It will not happen. You have to do something. Papa, be cool. That man is going through a lot. He's emotionally wrecked at this point. He needs help. I know why I'm saying all this. Because if anything should happen to you now, he will become my father. And I don't want to lose him. Nothing will happen to me. I'm not dying yet. I did, can't we? Papa, I don't want to lose my uncle. You have to do something. I don't want anything to happen to him. Please. He will not die in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, you people have spoken well. But the problem is, to be frank with you, I have done all the things that you people said here. I have spoken to him, but he wouldn't listen to me. Papa, you need to try more. I mean, you should try harder. Harder? Yes, Papa. Then I'll be harder, and um, something else will happen. I've tried my best. <laughs> Mother, we have a situation in our There's hands. There's no situation here. All we need to do is to call Greg and his kinsmen to come and take the dowry he paid on your head. What if he refuses? Why would he refuse? Tell me, why? You left the marriage. We'll just call him to reimburse him and that's it. <sighs> Something is telling me that he might not take back the breakfast. Well, tell that same thing that Prince Fena is part of this. So I will not allow it happen. If he refuses to take back the bride price, I will handle him myself. I will take it up with him by force. When I apply force, I know he will accept it. So don't worry yourself, I will handle it, okay? What if he insists on knowing what happened to his baby? There was no baby. True. Tell him you are only pretending. <laughs> What teacher? I've come to tell you that my husband to be will be coming with his people to marry me in five days time. Do well and come to the palace and collect the bread price you paid on my head so that I can move on with my beautiful life. I'm just giving you two days to come to the palace 
and collect the full refund of the bread price you paid on my head. Because you know that a bread price is a refundable fee. Two days. What did you do to my son? Loser, there is no son. Look at you. You killed your innocent baby. You killed our son just to marry Philip. <sighs> That's what I've been talking about. This is what I have always complained about you. Poverty has rumpled your mind that you now talk like an imbecile. Two days. When this ex will start judging you, not even a thousand guts will protect you from karma. Come on, get out of my compound, you murderer. was pregnant. Do you know why I'm always handicapped on this matter? First, it's because I'm a girl. Secondly, it's because the stupid girl in question is from the royal house. If not, Papa, I would have dealt with her before now. I mean, what is wrong with her? Why is she denied that she's not pregnant? Why? Listen, my daughter, everything is intact. Pregnancy test and the scar. Papa, you have to go and see the king. You have to go and talk to him. You have to go and tell him what his daughter is doing or what she's about to do. Listen, Papa, I think she wants to do ab abortion. She wants to abort the baby. You have to talk to the king. Well, if she abuses it, it's an abomination to the community. It's not only abomination. It is called murder before the law. And she has to be penalized. Papa, I know we don't have anybody. I know we don't have money. We don't have say in the community. But we have to speak out. We have to cry to the world so that they will know our pains. We can't just keep calm, Papa. We have to do something. Eh? This is pure intimidation. A slap on this family's face. We have to do something, Papa. Please. My daughter, everything you have just said now is in order. But the question is, what can you do to the royal family? Royal family, my foot. Papa, I don't care. Because they are not above the law. Yes! The royal family is not above the law. What I'm saying is that it means that you are fighting against the whole community. Papa, see, you lied. We are not fighting any community. Listen, a friend of mine told me that her parents are so bitter because of what is happening to us. You see, people are feeling for us. We have to say something. We have to do something before it's too late. Anyway, I advised Greg to go to see the, uh, the king with the pregnancy tests and uh, the scan. So let us see his reaction. You asked him to go alone? Yes. Ah, he's not good enough. Papa is no good. You have to go with him. You have to go with him to the palace. You, you can't just send him away. I think the reason they're cajoling him is because he used to go alone. You have to go. It's not only you. You have to go with some king's men. Go there and talk to the king. My daughter, like I said before, all the things you have been saying here are all true. But you know your father is not strong guy enough 
I cannot be going up and down because of all this. Because of all these things, please. I don't know why God made me a woman. I don't just know why. You don't have to blame God. He knows the rest. But I have to blame him. Because I'm supposed to be a man. You don't have to blame God. He, Papa, I have to. He knows the best. Papa, I have to blame him. I don't like all this. I don't like everything that is happening. I don't like it. Iwe, what is this evil the royal family wants to carry out on me? It's because they think I don't have anybody to speak for me, that my wife wants to give my baby to another man. Greg, did I hear you say baby? Yes, Iwe, the princess is three months pregnant. What? Iwe, look at the pregnancy test. This one is pregnancy and this hand test that confirms her pregnant. No, Igwe. Ah, if kneeling down will bring back princess to me and my baby, Igwe, ah, Igwe, no. Can I never sit down here? I want the princess. Sit down. Let me look at you. I should sit down. Yes, sit down. Thank you, Igwe. Pregnant? Yes, Igwe. Princess wants to give my baby to Philip. No, no. If this happens, Igwe, it's man in humanity to man. What is this? My daughter is pregnant? Oh. Igwe, please, please, help me beg my wife to come back home. I love the princess so much more that I will never allow another man to take my wife and my baby, please. Gods of my ancestors. What is happening? And she's aware of this. This girl is three months pregnant for my uncle, but she's denying it. You're joking, right? I'm not. See, when my uncle told me first about it, I thought he was joking to get back at her. But I saw everything. I saw the scan results, the pregnancy test. I saw it all. You're joking, right? I'm not joking. I'm saying the truth. I saw everything. As you can see, I'm dressed to the palace. Because I wanted to follow him there. But he said no. But why? Because I'm a woman. Yes. I'm not a man now. Thank God I did not go. Because by now, hmm, they would have locked me up. This is inadequate. But why is the king not doing anything about this? The king? Hey, we are talking about the king. What do you expect him to say? That weak man. He was just a teacher. Don't forget that. UK, teachers still have their stance. Talk more of now that he's a king. For crying out loud, this man is a king. Kings have lots of monarchy. He should act accordingly before things get astray. This is so painful. But one thing I know is that the blood of that innocent child 
we forever torment the princess and whosoever that is responsible for it this he say it will happen and if she actually aborted that baby just to get married to that rich man she will never hear a cry of a baby in this life he say there's no peace for the wicked i agree with you there's no peace for the wicked for all the agony that that lady has caused your uncle it will backfire to her yes they are going to look for peace. They will not see peace. There shall be no peace between she and Philip. They will suffer. In fact, there will be no love. Love? Let me tell you something. There is no love there. She doesn't love him at all. They forced her because of money. Yes, as I'm talking to you right now, the princess still loved my uncle. But she cannot do anything. She can't do anything to help it. What kind of statement is that? As big as she is. Oh, please, I don't believe that. You have to believe me. You have to believe me. Because it's true. Let me ask you something. Can you be forced to marry someone that you don't have feelings for? It's not possible. But I cannot speak for everybody. <sighs> I don't feel really bad. You look like a rejected. Come on, stop worrying your head. See, I promise to talk to the princess as soon as she comes back to know what the problem is. Hmm? Queen, please do. I will. Eh? Princess shouldn't do this to me. Let me tell her that I love her. Tell her that I care about her so much. That oh. I will kill myself if she leaves me to marry another. Has it got into that? Greg, why must you kill yourself because of a woman? I think she's carrying my baby. What? The, the princess is pregnant? Yes, three months pregnant. Wow! She has never mentioned anything like that to me. In case if you're having doubt, ask that she won't deny it. Oh my word. Children of nowadays. They won't kill us. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Eh? I, I'm just hearing this now. Onion Kuzi. Have you eaten? Because to me, you look hungry. If you don't want to use the dining, I could ask one of the maids to arrange food to you at the garage or even do it a takeaway. See, I can also give you thanks for coming. Yes. Let me just wait for her. Yeah, let me sit down and wait for her. Um, I don't think she will come back soon. Why don't you go? to sleep with that thing, lived with him for five good months. Mother, please don't go there. Has he ever kissed you? Before? Did you try to offer him food? Uh, I'm sure he was hungry. He's really? always hungry. You needed to see him. Oh, she's three months, three months pregnant. And I said, wow, the princess is pregnant? <laughs> she never told me about it. <laughs> Ask her, you can ask her if she comes back. And say, you look hungry. Did 
do you need food? He was like, can't you get it in me? What do I... I saw him, he's back. What was the app to come? You are going out, so go and check it by yourself. Okay, that's a good advice. Let me go and check by myself. Papa, go and check. What has he been here? Oh, what is this happening? There's nothing more going on here in this palace. Okay, wait, let me ask you a question. In this kingdom, have you ever heard of what is going on? Right now. My sister will not be the first to start it all. No. If you can't remove me, like, I am short of words. If I tell you I understand what is going on in this palace, then I am a liar. Why will princess give her child to Dr. Philip? All in the name of what? No, I will come teach her to him and because what sort of nonsense is this? You can't imagine. She was just all over him, even when the prince had queen rejected him. The part that annoys me most. Is when she will stop saying, I love him, he's my this, he's my dad, he's a shit. Ah, all sort of nonsense. The same mouth she used to say sweet words about her husband. I mean, her former husband, though, is the same mouth she used to curse him and say all manner of unspeakable words with him. To me, the princess is just as confused as confusion. <coughs> I don't blame the princess for what is going on. The queen and Prince Vena are the cause of her burial. Yes. The princess loves her former husband so much. Mm -hmm. So honestly to me, the mother and her brother cause the frustration. Yes, I think so. Now they have set her against her husband as the center can no longer hold doesn't want to get married to an eligible man. Me, yeah, I want to get married to a very rich man. Eh? In fact, an already made man. I don't want to suffer. You mean you cannot suffer with a man and make money with him? So far, okay. I suffered in my father's house. I also come to my husband's house and suffer. To fear kwa. It will not happen. Eh? Hmm? Yo. Marrying a wealthy man is good. It's very good though. But make sure you know his source of income. As in where the money is coming from. Yes. Very, very important, Smaka. You're not coming to my page. What is it? Are you done? I want to get married to a rich man. That's all no. I know. No. Stay there. You can marry to you. Get married to whoever you want. I saw him. He's back from the palace. So what did the king say? I'm eager to hear his verdict. He did not say anything. My uncle said that he was shocked when he told him about the pregnancy. He said he wanted to cry. If not that kings don't cry. Eh? But still, why didn't he stop it? exactly why I'm still confused. As a king, his words are law. When he says something, nobody dares to challenge him. Even the wife. But in this case, revises the case. I don't understand what is happening. I am beginning to suspect that woman, Lolo. You know, women go extra mile just to achieve their heart desires. I yes. don't understand. What do you mean? Lolo might be controlling the king with means. Yes. No, 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 no. Don't say that. It's not possible. Yes, it's not possible. Charms doesn't work on kings. Oh, please. It does not. But that is in the olden days, not now. Things have turned upside down. So, you are saying the king is not with his clear eyes? It is obvious. Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? 
If he's not, why can't he say that this matter is closed? I have spoken, just like every other king's. Hey, I'm beginning to see reasons to what you're saying. Because as a king, his words are law. If he says go, everybody will go. If he says stop, everybody will stop. But this one is just confusing. Exactly. Do you know what? We have to wait. Because he said he's going to get back to my uncle. So let's just hope. Let's just hope. You see, this is why I like Peter Doshe in Nollywood movies as a king. Nobody challenges him. His words are like sword that pierce through the mirror. Once he says, I have spoken, Chosha Abasa, what are you even saying? Why are you comparing the two? Eh? You are talking of what is happening now, and you are there talking about movie. Are they the same thing? They are not. Our king should, should do his duties. That's all I'm saying. Whether movie or not, he should act like a king, you know? Please stop talking about him. Just stop. Okay, if you say so. But, king, our king should know his duty. That's all I'm saying. Stop talking about him, please. Mm -hmm. Act. I have been talking to the princess, but she remains adamant. She is saying that uh, I should ask you to come with your kinsmen to take the bride prize you paid on her head. But have you asked her what she did to my son? I have actually, but she is saying that uh, she wasn't pregnant. She's my baby, except she had done something to him or prepared to give my son to Philip. Greg, I am not saying that you're lying. I have asked her several, repeatedly, but she is insisting that she wasn't pregnant. You could be a sure hard pill for me to swallow. Well, I understand. Under these circumstances, there's virtually nothing I can do. You know, you can lead a camel to the stream, but you cannot force it to drink water. That is the situation I find myself right now. No problem, Igwe. I will come with my kinsmen for my money to be refunded. It's all right. Uh, that is a wise decision. Hmm? Thank you, Igwe. those he was laughing about. Mother, I told you. I told you that he knew about the pregnancy, but you wouldn't listen. Oh, keep quiet. And honestly, since I terminated the pregnancy, I've not been myself. My conscience has been pricking me. I wish I never did it. Well, the deed is done. So, stop crying over spilt milk. I am scared to my bones. About what? About Greg, mother. What about Greg? I mean, I am scared that he might harm me or Philip. Oh, come on. He won't do a thing. See, 
he has accepted to come and take the bride price he paid on your head. That should get you excited and not be worried. Don't you think so? In fact, we need to celebrate this. Yes. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, let's go inside. From now on, it has to be celebration. That's my place. Come on. Yes, come on, kids. See, from now on, it should be celebration after celebration after celebration. They have called my uncle to come and take his money. Really? Yes. You need to see him. It's written all over him. Wait a minute. Did he collect the bride price? He did not. He refused. After running, he will still go back and take it. This is too bad. So that man has succeeded in pushing away your uncle from the princess. Why? <laughs> Don't say Umuwai because it's not everybody. I can never leave my husband because of money. I can't do that. Let me tell you something. Any man that takes another man's wife simply because he has money more than him should wait because a richer person is coming. Exactly my point, my dear. You know, sometimes I ask myself, if men do not think before acting, or is it that their brain malfunction to reason well at times or what? Because why would a man marry a woman who left her husband because of money? Don't worry. A richer person is coming. Yes, it will happen. Trust Doesn't me. Doesn't make sense at all. Papa? Papa, welcome. Yes. Good day, sir. Yeah. Your brother was there. Did he leave any message? Yes. Go and get me a seat. Sit on this one for everything. Okay. <clears throat> They have called him in the palace. Really? Yes, they asked him to come and take the bride price. Hey, so this man has succeeded. I hate men with passion. Papa, you are not included though. I mean, all these new age boys. Boys like that madman called Philip. Anyway, the princess is not Brett's wife. Because if she is his wife, they will not separate. But as, as it is now, it is better they go separate ways before it is too late. Papa, what if they are meant to be? Well, if they are meant to be, they will definitely come back to each other, as I said before. I, I believe you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you heard the latest gist in that? I heard. Mm. Mama watch it. Cha cha. How can the princess leave her husband to go and marry Dr. Philip, the brain box? Hey. Hmm. My dear. They are doing this because they think they can. Imagine the way they are frustrating that poor innocent teacher. It's not nice now. Eh? Hi! The royal family didn't try at all. At all. I mean, they should set a pace for us in this kingdom. Because everybody in this kingdom is looking up to them. I dare you're right. Huh. I heard she's even trying to give a um, great child to Dr. Philip. That is not nice now. Eh? That is your own version. Hmm? Ay, chica. Had she aborted the baby is a lie. <laughs> you are joking, right? <laughs> Have you forgotten Udoka was in the past and she's my friend? So I heard from a reliable source. Bro joke. 
<laughs> what have they done? The royal family has brought a curse upon themselves. This is not nice at all. I'm calm. Hi. We call up on there. Oh, leave them. Let's go and fetch one. Oh, Bochinta. I have shown a range. Oh, what did Balalo see? This is on Balalo's is on Amandoya. I'm not going. Left our own husband because of Dr. Philip. Our own. This shouldn't be coming from the royal family. Mbana. Eh? Bo? Oh no. Igwe. The toad's mouth has been filled with water that the poor toad cannot cook anymore. My eyes have seen my ears. Your Majesty, I think there is a way to stop this madness. I suggest we invite Dr. Philip here, or even better, visit his place and warn him to remove the monkey hand in the pot of soup before you turn to human hand. Is the princess the only woman in this kingdom? Is she? I wonder. Eh? wonder. There are thousand and one good maidens in our kingdom. He can make his choice from anyone and leave a married woman alone. Of course. I can even I call it uh, I think no one uh, have said it all. We, the elders in council, cannot sit and watch this evil occur in our kingdom. Mbalo. My elders in council, I thank you all. I thank you for your intervention in this matter. I will implore you to do what you have decided. Okay? Because an elder cannot sit at home and watch the goat deliver in tethers. So please do the needful, okay? Thank you. Igwe, we shall brief you on the outcome from her place. It's all right. All Where are you coming from? Hmm? I went to your house and your father said he didn't know where you went to. Then I thought you could be in your uncle's house, but when I went there, the door was locked. <sighs> so start talking. Where are you coming from? I don't understand. It's not what you think. Well, I went to see Philip's mother. Philip's mother. Yes. What did you go there to do? I went to tell her about what her son is doing to my uncle. Yes, I even advised her to tell her only son to use his money judiciously instead of oppressing my uncle in this village. Okay, so what did she say? She denied everything. She said she's not aware of it. And you believe what she told you? Well, through her reactions, I think she's saying the truth. Because she picked the phone and called him immediately. And what makes you think that Philip will surrender? He has to. Yes, he has to do that. Because I, UK, will never sit and watch him oppress my uncle. It will never happen. Listen, you see this matter, I'm going to go extra miles for it. This is called man's inhumanity to man. And it will never happen, never. UK, I understand your pains, but you still need to take things easy. I don't know why he's acting like that. Eh? His mates that made money overseas are using their money to impart lives in this village. I don't know why his own is otherwise. Eh? He's using his money to oppress the poor. Why, why 
is it like that? I'm so mad right now. You see that man? I just want to kill him. Okay, you came back to marry the princess. And the princess is married. As a responsible man, what does he supposed to do? Leave her and marry another woman. Okay. That's the right thing to do. You see? But he doesn't want that. He just wants to oppress my only uncle. He just wants to make him look stupid. But it will never happen. You know what? Let's just go to my house. Let's just go. And do what? Please, okay. let's go. Go where? To my house now. Oh, yeah. Why am I going to your house again? Please, ah. let's go. We have a whole lot of people. Mm. Doctor, it is unfortunate that you of all people let me make a this. What do you stand to gain by destroying another man's home? Everything was good and fine with Greg until you came into the picture. Now the center can no longer cope. Are you okay with that now? Uh, doctor, did you come back to destroy one city's home? Is that your agenda? Did Greg offend you in any way before you travel abroad? What is the meaning of this? You see, my elders, the princess was mine before the man got to her. I say, it's a lie. You wanted her. But when you came back and found that she was married, you would have accepted it as a fit and look for love elsewhere. But no, you insisted that it must be the princess, a married woman for that matter. Mm -hmm. What is this crazy thing about the princess anyway? Tell me, Philip. Is she the only beautiful woman in this kingdom? Why are you doing this to your fellow man? The person in question is a classroom teacher. And so what? And so what, Dr. Philip? Remember that the law of karma says that whatever a man sow, same shall he reap. That karma is real. Remember that. Philip. You are who you are today. As a result of a major role a teacher played in your part of destiny. Now you despise a teacher. Philip, I want you to know that money is not everything. Exactly. Yes, you have money. But also remember that you don't know what tomorrow becomes. Tomorrow they say is pregnant. I think we have to meet your king's men on this. Maybe you give them a listening here. Philip, to be forewarned is to be forehand. Be very careful. Because you are richer than him and more exposed than him does not mean you should underrate him. We won't accept that here. They say a word is enough for the wise. I think you have said enough. Uh, uh, my elders, I have some cola drinks here. <laughs> we don't need your cola. Neither do we need your money. Okay, you can keep it. But he who brings cola brings life. We have life already. Any life and add more to your wealth. Philip, other people who schooled abroad are evolving and inventing new things. But here you are, planning on how to do the unthinkable. What is this news I'm hearing? That you're planning on how to destroy another man's marriage simply because you feel he's not good enough for the princess. Mama, you need to calm down. I will not calm down. I will not calm down until you tell me why you are hell bent on destroying our whole generation with this your ignominious act. Mama, I love the princess. And that's final. Isibuan you lie. You will never marry Princess Candy. You will not. Eh? What is all this? 
Philip, all you do since you came back from overseas is going about intimidating Greg. Eh? With your wealth. Is that why you went abroad? Mama, I'm not intimidating anyone. That's the wrong information you have there. The queen and the prince are the masterminders of this chaos. Hmm. They're the one asking the teacher guy to dissolve the marriage. It's not me. I have no hand in it. I can swear with anything. Why are you hell-bent on doing that bidding? Mama, you need to understand me. When I came back from the US, I told the royal family I am interested in the princess. I honestly told them I wanted to get married to the princess. But in return, they told me she's married. So I peacefully left. I'm very surprised to hear they're asking Greg to dissolve the marriage and they're fighting him. I don't have a hand in it. They're the ones asking Greg to dissolve the marriage and forcing the princess to marry me. Honestly speaking, I have no hand in it. So mama, don't accuse me wrongly. Is she the only beautiful woman in this kingdom? Mama, Candy is a very beautiful woman. And I believe she's good for marriage. I know you're upset with me, but that's the truth. Besides, I hear the classroom teacher was asked to come pick up the bright price he paid on her head. Chimo. And he's doing that today. So this rumor is true? Ah, Onye Muchechuku. Onye Muchechuku, what have you done? Eh? What have you done? I have done nothing wrong. Oh! Well, it's like you don't recognize me. Well, let me do the introduction. I am Dr. Philip Onyemuche Mwambo's mother. Oh, you? Honestly, you've really changed. Come on, I, I, I do recognize you. Oh. Money does a lot of magic. Please sit down. I'm not here to sit. Yes. I heard you have been the one pushing my son to his death. I don't And understand. I have come to ask you, please, leave my son alone. He will never marry the princess. Not while I'm still alive. Um, Mama Philip, why don't you come down? Sit down, let's talk. How could okay? you? Okay? How could you, Penagodo, a mother, destroy your daughter's marriage because of money? Egon Kowa. Come on. Listen, I want to make this promise to you. If my son, Onyema, marries the princess, then know me that I'm not a true daughter of Nzewi. What do I say? Let 
leave my son alone. He's all I have got. Ofunkulanya njafuzo. Hapulomia. Princess, you really should be moving back into your husband's house already. Father, please. I'm not going anywhere. I'm a divorcee. Really? Candy, why are you doing this? I mean, can't you see that there are so many forces against you? Are you so blind that you cannot see? Igwe. Yes. I am sorry, but we're sticking to plan. Papa Mama Philip me on Don't forget. My teacher is coming tomorrow with his kinsmen to collect his bread drives. Akudu. Help my king. What plans are you talking about? Who is making that plan with you? I mean, why are you doing this? Why are you bent on bringing curse upon the royal family? Why? There's no curse anywhere. The princess is not the first to have said that left the marriage. Why is us raising dust? Yes. This one is raising dust because what you are doing is an abomination. Ah. Yes. Look, do not say I didn't warn you. The stubborn fly that refuse to listen to her advice, accompanies the corpse into the grave. I am warning you, refrain from this your evil deed. I am not coming down. I've told you my beat, and I'm retiring to the chambers. Igwe, if what was done to my son is pleasing to the gods, let it be. But if my son is maltreated because some people believe he is poor and nobody can speak for him, let the gods of Umuchi Kingdom speak for him. Igwe, we were here rejoicing celebrating five months ago. We witnessed a marriage that was built strongly on love. And now we are asked to come and collect back our dowry. <clears throat> it's your fault, yeah. We all witnessed it. It happened before our very eyes. We saw the princess and her husband looking into each other's eyes that they were finally coming together as husband and wife. Igwe, we shall call it back our dowry. But I want you to have it at the back of your mind that 
we never expected that. Great. Do you have anything to chip in before we accept our dowry? No, Papa. I don't have anything to say. No. Well, be well. And we have our dowry back. So, yes. Thank you. Come on, be a man, be a man. Let's go. Let's go. Why the long face? Jesse, have I done anything? Chinwe, do you know one thing I hate most in this life? Pretense. Me? Pretending? How? Stop asking stupid questions as if you don't know what you did. I don't know what's going on here. I'm lost. What did I do? Jessica! Please don't jesse me. Am I the one talking to you? UK, I'm lost here. What's my offense? Where are you coming from? Where am I coming from? Like? From the palace, of course. And what is wrong with that? So, Chinwe, you went for that traditional marriage, Chinwe. Wait a minute. Is it because I went to princess traditional marriage? Is that why you guys are giving me this long face? What is wrong with that? Chinwe, I thought you were my friend. But it's obvious you are not. A woman that jilted my uncle got married to another man today. Chinwe, you went there to eat rice you have not eaten before. Can hey. You imagine? Hmm. So. 
because the princess jilted your uncle, I should not go to the palace again. Or I should not go to any event that is taking place in the palace. How is that supposed to concern me? You think so? Chiwi, to be frank with you, what you did is bad. For crying out loud, your girlfriend is here in pain just because of what those people that call themselves real family did to his uncle and all you could do is to go to that traditional marriage to eat rice and drink like you have never eaten it before. Jesse, just hold it. I will not take that from you again. Please. What's the meaning of this? Oh, because Greg was jilted. I should be part of his problem. I shouldn't go to the palace. Please. Everybody has its differences. You don't expect me to inherit your enemy. No, I will not do that. Can you imagine? I won't. I am not related to Greg. Even if I am, it's my decision. Chingwe. What? I want to be left alone. So you are indirectly asking me to leave your house? I don't care how you see it. Just leave. Leave. Since you're pretending that there is nothing wrong with what you did. Like I care, you guys should just get out. Did you hear that? Thank God it happened right here in your face. Can you imagine? I'm happy I'm seeing all this. That girl is so, so annoying.
What am I even trying to do? Going to kill myself? No. No. Not after losing my son. No. No. Hey, come here. Come here. What was the meaning of what you said in UK's house? Is that why you have to push me? Yes. I said, tell me the meaning of what you said in UK's house. You were there, you were running your mouth. What was wrong? I went to Princess Candy's uh, traditional marriage, eh? Uh -huh. What wrong did I do? Anyway, chill me. You want to know the meaning of what I said, right? Yes. The meaning of what I said is that you are a chameleon. You're very trickish. You're not a good friend. Period. Hey, hey, stand there. I'm not done with you. Stand here. I'm not done talking. If I'm talking to you, you don't walk out on me. <laughs> Chiwe, if you touch me again with this, your filthy hands, I will descend on you. Me, you I know what that me. means. You descend on me. You walk out of me. All right. <laughs> Chiwe! Chiwe! I want to try I'm going 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 to try why didn't you call me on time so that I will help you? Why? Okay, where are you? Where are you? Okay, where is she? Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Um, 
Oh no. I'm afraid she's not getting any better. As a matter of fact, her condition is getting worse by the day. I suggest we'll invite Mbonobu the healer. Oh no. You and I know that we've invited so many healers in the past. And they all proved ineffective. I believe her ailment has uh, defied every traditional and medical treatment. And as it is right now, I have no option but to resort to sitting and waiting for the worst. And that is death. Tfiapa, Iwe, why are you saying this? No. You were here in the past. When I was appealing to the queen to refrain from her evil deeds, that she remained adamant. The wealth that she so much suffered cannot help her under this condition. So, what else do you want me to say? Igwe. I still insist we try more. Yes, I heard he has the power to heal and to see the present, past, and future. Let us try him first. Oh no. We are all conversant with what the queen's problem is. I mean, if God forbid she dies today. Mm -hmm. We all know what is responsible for her death. I know. I know that. Virtually we have tried all the native doctors in this kingdom. But let's still give Mbonobo the chance. Let us try him, Igwe. I heard he's good at what he does. Let us give him a chance. It is said a trial will convince you. Let us give him a chance, people. Well, uh, let me give you the benefit of doubt. Mm -hmm. Let it not be said that uh, it's because I didn't give my consent. That is why she dies. Go and fetch your brother. Go. <laughs> he will. Papa. Mm -hmm. There is something that is bothering me, and I want to share that with you. What is it this time? Papa, it's about three years now that your brother collected the bride price, and yet no wife. Well, what you said now is in order. That means you have your uncle's interest at heart. But you don't know your uncle. I know him very well. Listen, Greg is someone who likes to do what he wants. If not by now, he would have gotten another woman. Papa. Yes? Have you talked to him about this before? Yes, I have done it. Immediately, the bright prize was returned to him. I told him, he said, I should give him time to recover from the first marriage before another one. Papa. You have to talk to him again. It's over three years now. Know how to put words. Talk to him. Why don't you talk to him? Is he not your uncle? Papa, I will do that again. Eh? Hey. Mm -hmm. That means you have talked to him before now. Yes, Papa. I talked to him, but he told me the same thing he told you. But we don't have to quit. Yes. We have to continue talking to him. He will change. He will get a wife. I believe that. Ah, oh, Greg. Too much education is bad, though. At the end of the day, the whole thing will enter his brain. And that is what is disturbing him. Papa, what is too much education again? Eh, Papa, 
my uncle is very, very fine. There's nothing wrong with him. Is it because sometimes he gets depressed? It's normal. Mm -hmm. Depression. Depression sends someone to an early grave. You let him know that. Papa, I'll tell him. I want to go and see him. Hey, hey. Mm. Tell him I want to see him this evening. I will do that. Hey, hey Papa. Yes? If you want to eat, I made guy for you. He's inside, so I can carry it. Uh, why don't you take some to him? No, I called him, and he said he has food. Okay. Don't miss me. I'm coming. Okay. Chino, do you know Sunday? The boy for Sunday? Yes, I do. The one that came back from Kotonu the other day. Exactly. You know him too well. <laughs> What's about him? He's asking me out. <laughs> And you didn't slap him. Is it because he came back from Kotonu? I don't know for him or all I know is that he said that he likes me. Wait, wait, wait. Do you like him? Well, I like him, but I'm going to play hard to get. Why? If you like him, just go ahead and say yes to his proposal. Wait, wait. Do you expect me to just say yes to him just like that? That is the problem with women. If it were me, I would say yes to his proposal. As long as I like him, not playing how to get. So just stop. This one you're doing, Shakara. Just better say yes before they will collect him from you. Well, I'm a woman and I have pride. So I'll say yes to him, but not now. And I can read it all over your body that you've already fallen in love with him. He's cute, right? <laughs> I'll say yes, but not now. I am the child of the child of the man who is 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 the the gods of my forefathers, permit me to reveal what you've just told me now. <laughs> What did the gods tell you that is responsible for our ailment? She is paying the price for her sins. Borogo. Oh? I don't understand. Could you please expatiate me? What exactly is her sin that she is paying for? nothing for me to expand shit for you. She brought this upon herself. And the gods have deceased her. The blood of the innocent child is taking revenge. Hmm. Uh, okay, so what can we do now to remedy the situation? There is nothing for me to do to save her. Igwe, permit me to take my leave. I'm going to The queen ailment is a strange one that has defiled every treatment. Oh no. Igwe. Her ordeal right now was created by herself with her own hands. 
The prince is also passing through his own, languishing in prison. The chief of them all is Princess Candy. She is in America, jumping from post to post, looking for a child after five good years of marriage. Hmm. They created all this by themselves. How can it said to be the one that came now? I am out. That is to say, the gods are double-edged sword. They do good at times and at the same time do evil. To evil doers. The gods do not punish innocent people. Mm. Well, um, I was told they will be returning to Nigeria very soon from America to seek help from uh, traditionalists. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because they've virtually consulted all the gynecologists in the United States, all to no avail. Hmm. A baby that God gave her an Uma teacher freely is what she and Philip running around from pillar to post looking for. That is to say. The world is not balanced. As the saying goes, the evil that men do lives with them. Mm. Not after them anymore. Onyema, hello? Hello? Hello, Onyema, I can't hear you. Hello, my son, uh, hey, how are you? That, ah, network, that, oh, that, that you're coming back to Nigeria? Okay. That's beautiful. Hope you are not coming back with that man you call your wife. Eh? Leave her there and come back to Nigeria. So that we look for a good girl for you to get married to. A good girl from a good family. That will give you plenty of children. Eh? Let me... I will say whatever I want to say. I will call her whatever I want to call her. And nothing will happen. Yes, now. I told you, I talked to you as my son. You, listen, you refuse to listen. Yes, you refuse to listen. Uh -huh. You said you were looking for beauty. Now that you've gotten beauty, how far? Huh? How far now? How about also, I go on my. Onyema, listen to me. You are my only child. And you know you cannot leave me like this. I need a wife that will give me children. Marry a wife that will give me plenty of children. I need children. Can put Nagi Alin Chini. Yes. Do you want your 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 your, your, your father's lineage to close like that? I've told you. Come back and let her be there. Come back alone. I will get 
a good girl from a good family that you get married to. Okay? Trust me. That is your business. I've told you what I've told you. And you are going to follow what I said. Mm. Please, I've, I've said my own. Bye-bye. Uh. Her sickness has defied every medical and traditional solution. So, as it is right now, we are left with our feet. Um, Your Majesty. Um, no matter how bad her situation might be, I strongly believe it can be controlled medically. So I suggest we fly her out of the country as soon as possible. Philip, that would not be necessary. Your Majesty, we need to do something fast to save her life. Philip, I have tried everything. We have sought medical solutions, traditional medicine solutions, and what have you. But all to no avail. So anything we're doing now will not yield anything positive. Trust me on that. Um, Your Majesty, can I take a look at her and see things myself? Your mother's situation is very critical. I suggest we fly her to India as soon as possible for the right treatment. Well, Dr. Philip, the truth is that we've tried several hospitals. We even tried several harbor homes, all to no avail. My prince, I strongly believe there are good hospitals in India where she can get adequate health care.
Your Majesty, her situation is really, really bad. We can't let her die. We need to act fast. Philip, as it is right now, my hands are tied. There is nothing I can do, absolutely nothing anymore. Your Majesty, I can make the necessary arrangements to ensure that she travels. Let us try better healthcare centers. Let us try capable hands. Philip, like I said, there is no need for that. As it is right now, the gods are in control. What? Oh yes, the gods. What gods? First, she coerced my daughter to abandon her marriage. As if that was not enough, she practically forced my daughter to carry out an abortion. What? Yes, abortion. And so, the gods are taking a toll on her because of her evil deed. Princess, is that true? Princess! I'm sorry. My mother made me do it. She said if I don't abort my three months old pregnancy and leave Greg's house to come marry you, that she will kill herself. It wasn't my fault. She made me do it. I'm sorry. So you have been the cause of these setbacks all along. It wasn't my fault. You all lied to me. You all made me believe there was no child involved. My mother and brother pushed me to it. It wasn't my fault. They pushed me to it. I, I didn't want to do it. Princess, I can clearly understand that you aborted your child just to get married to me. They made me do it. I didn't want to do it. They made me do it. It wasn't my fault. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. What goes around, what goes around it must come out, it must come out, what goes around, it must come out. Hey! Onye! Come inside. Come on. Come on. Sit down. Come on. Drop your bag. Sit down. <laughs> How do you like your husband's mansion? <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. Uh -huh. You see this kind of house with the beautiful color. See the curtains. Very beautiful. The kind of babies we'll be making in this house. Eh? Chala chala <laughs> What is going on here? What does it look like for you now? Barrel of No, 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 no. Don't tell me you came all the way from the place to insult me. I won't take that from you. I can Don't insult try you the way I didn't think. You and your evil mother and brother connived to kill a Matisha some bomb child. Um, you are evil. Mama. Sorry. My handsome son is here. Mama, who is this? I didn't tell you I wanted a household. My son, eh? Onye is your new wife. What? Not the need. Philip, what is she talking about? What is going on here? My son, I am your mother. I will never deceive you. I warned you five years ago 
to be wary of what we are diving into. But you didn't listen to me. You insisted on doing what you thought was right for you. Princess is cursed. Woman, I'm trying so hard not to insult you. Don't push it. And who demanded for your respect? Don't push it. Who? Mind the way you talk to me. Philip, talk to your mother. The gods have blocked your womb and struck your mother with an incurable disease. Please, leave my son alone. He's all I have got. I need grandchildren. Philip, I will not stand here and listen to this rubbish. Take care of it. <laughs> and I want that thing out of my house. It's you that will leave my son's house. Nah, come and see your mother. Mama? My son. Are you here to cause trouble? That I brought a, a fine wife for you. Look at her now. Eh? This girl I brought for you is a virgin. No chances. Not like uh, that Tokumbo you called your wife. Look at her now. Is she not beautiful? You know? <laughs> check, check and balance. Anna, don't you like what you see? Your mother has a eye. Eh? Hey, Philip. Okay, Don't worry. Yeah? This is your home. I brought you and you have come to stay. Bring your bags. Let's go inside. Bring them. Let me go and show you your room. Bring the other one. Don't panic. It's your home. Eh? You trust me? Well, let's go. Hey! 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 What happened here? This kitchen wasn't looking like this when I came in to drink water a few hours ago. Onyinye. Hmm. She seems like a very hardworking girl. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Like to have the breakfast? Um, anything. Anything is fine. Okay, I'll cook something real quick.
What is wrong with the princess? She can't do anything right. She left this house without making the bed. In fact, since we got married, she has never made the bed. I always do it on her behalf. She can't cook or do anything else. Her mother didn't teach her to do these things. I mean, how could she have learned with all the maids in the palace doing virtually everything for her? I am married, yet I do all the house chores in this house. Candy does nothing, absolutely nothing in this house. What's wrong with this princess girl? What? Who uses the toilet without flushing it? I have told her time and time again. Always flush the toilet after using it. But she wouldn't listen. What have I gotten myself into? What? Nobody knows what I'm going through. Nobody. Nobody knows what I'm going through staying with this girl, living in the same house with her. Each time I try to correct her, she tells me, oh, her ex condones her excesses without complaining. What nonsense. What have I gotten myself into? Huh? You are booming. Where is that coming from? Just a question. Why are you so dirty? How many times do I tell you to always make the bed every morning when you wake up and flush the toilet after using it? So what's the big deal? You came back and you saw that I didn't do any of those. Why didn't you do that? Were you not thought to do house chores back home? In case you've forgotten, I am a princess. In my father's palace, I have guards and maids. They are there to do the chores. The cooking, the flushing of toilets, making all the chores in the palace. Not like I don't know how to do them anyway, but I'm used to being served. Okay? I mean, if you need someone to do all the chores in this house, get it out. Simple. Please. You want me to get a help? Yeah. And the same help would flush the toilet on your behalf. Right? I've said this before going to say it again. My ex-husband used to do those things for me. Mm. It's no big deal. I see. Yes. So Candy, you expect me to sit at home do the chores like make the bed on your behalf flush the toilet on your behalf, cook for you, right? <laughs> You're just trying to make an issue where there's none. No issue here. No issue. 
Okay. I see. I would have listened to the voice of reason. I wouldn't have listened to the Queen and Prince Vienna when they pushed me to marry the Princess. Now everything is messed up. Blown out of proportion. Five years of marriage and I can't have a child. I should be a father by now. The repercussion of what we did to Greg has come staring at us in the face. I should have just let her go. I destroyed another man's marriage and expect mine to be all rosy and sweet. Ever since I married Princess, it has been from one problem to another. Now, we are back to this kingdom to seek solution to what we brought upon ourselves. <sighs> I pray this. I pray for this pass away. How was your night? Let's say we, we're having something else for breakfast. Oh, we prepared something else. Oh, we prepared some nice. <sighs> By the way, I hope your mother and that stupid girl she brought her yesterday. Yeah, um, Should I get muscles? Yeah, sure. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing here? Philip, what is she still doing here? They're supposed to have left this house. What is she still doing here? Why are you not talking? Um, they're still around. I mean, um, prepare the meal. You're eating and you have it. She did what? She did what? You allowed me to eat the concussion that this village team prepared. How wicked can you be? Hey, shut up! Instead of you to be appreciative of the good meal you're eating and enjoying, you're here calling it concussion. Eh? Let me ask you. For the past five years, my son got married to you. Have you ever prepared this type of food for him to eat? Huh? You have not. You're calling it concussion. 
Besides, this girl you're calling a village girl, she was born and raised in Lagos. Her mother taught her work, how to prepare good meal, like the one you just had. Hmm? How to do the house chores and even respect elders. All like you, you're just opposite of her. Princess, you have been caused by the gods. Ever since you killed your unborn child. That's it! Hmm. I must sit here and listen to this rubbish. Hmm. Philip, I see. This is a conspiracy. You brought me down to Nigeria to humiliate me. You planned this with your mother. Okay. You know what to do. Hmm? Rubbish. Can you get me more food? Just wipe this. No, let me make another one. Quick. Ha! This girl is a bad girl. In a clear order. Oh, okay, let me please. Hey! Kill it, woman. How did you end up in this room? I told you. You didn't listen. <laughs> if you go near. Igwe, I thought you said the princess and her husband are back to this kingdom. Oh, yes. They are. What are we waiting for? She should move over to this palace to help take care of the queen. Well, the princess said um, Philip's mother is trying to persuade Philip to marry Okinwa's daughter. Which Okinwa are you talking about? The one that lives in the city with his family. Did they come home for Christmas? Uh, no. It's the first daughter that came. And um, the princess said she's currently in her home, uh, trying to maneuver things. And uh, as a result of that, uh, she's not ready to sacrifice her marriage for her mother. Igwe, that shouldn't bother the princess for now. What should bother her now is what she came back to do. And not to have a physical tussle with Philip. It is not necessary. She came back for Ikwaru. For purification and appeasement of the gods of fruitfulness. Eh? It is not necessary. I don't think that. What she is. She is only protecting her son. Oh no. I saw this coming. Yet my wife, the queen, and her children saw me as a weakling. But we all decried it. Yes. Hmm. If Philip's mother succeeds in pushing the princess out of her matrimonial home due to the fact that she couldn't bear any child for the husband. What will become of her fate? Hmm. It will appear as if um, her two marriages have failed, which is too bad. There is this adage I used to tell my children that that which an elder sees sitting down, if a child lies, let him or her climb an Iroko tree. He or she cannot see anything. You are correct, you know. And that was exactly what I did. Mm. But they didn't understand. Anyway, um, this young man, Greg, I heard he's a little bit emotionally imbalanced uh, because of what happened. You know, his uh, business is no longer going well. The extramural class he was organizing is not functioning properly. Even the external exams and all that. And I heard that uh, the two-story building he was erected has been put on hold. Igwe, that is true. The completion of the building cannot continue again due to all this you've just said.
uneasy to say lies the head that wears the crown. Exactly. I'm not comfortable at all, you know, with all this. The sicknesses, the state of grief, and everything. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I went to the village. What I went to do? <laughs> Why are you asking? I'm not telling you. <laughs> yes? Uh -huh. What is it? What are you doing lying on my couch, you little imp? I'll have to call you back. No, no, it's okay. You're welcome. Yeah, it's okay. I asked you a question. What? What did you do that for? What? She greeted you and you slapped her. I don't care about her foolish greeting. What is she doing here? What are you doing here, you homebreaker? Husband snatcher? What are you doing here? I'm not kidding you. No, I'm not kidding you. What are you doing here? What is going on here? Huh? I asked the question. What is going on here? Onye? What is going on? Who slapped who? Huh? Nothing? In a dark attack. Who slapped who now? Did you just call my son's wife a husband's snatcher? Whose wife? My uh, son's wife. In your dreams. Listen, I am going to surprise all of you. I will surprise all of you in this house. <laughs> Come, she is Onyema, not a wife snatcher. With the help of royal family's consent, she snatched you from your ex-husband. You even have the call. To kill your innocent unborn child. <laughs> you are a murderer. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm? You are talking rubbish. Both of you are leaving my house this minute. Eh? Yes. You're so shameless. You are so shameless. Listen, this is my son's house. I am going nowhere. Mm. If there's anybody to leave, it's you. Because you are the imposter. Ah. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. We shall see. No problem. We will see who will run Kitty Kitty and Katakata out of this house. <laughs> Eventually, they're going to see you. Happen. You cannot do that. You can't do that. Your husband's matter. You can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think your own is bigger than my own. Yeah. What did you do that? You will leave. Idiot. Don't mind. You can't have your own of your own. Idiot. Don't like this. Don't get worry. Peace. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Don't worry. You will never have peace in this marriage. You will not. As long as I live, you will never have peace in this marriage. Until you leave my son's house. Wicked girl. My dear, listen. Don't worry. I, I will be the one to say who stays in my son's house. Okay? Don't worry. Calm down. I will handle the whole thing. You know? Uzuko, Uzuko, Uzuko. Hmm? Don't worry. Philip, listen. Your mother and that stupid girl are leaving my house this minute. Why are you not saying anything? Why are you seated? Why are you maintaining your cool as if everything is fine? Philip, I'm talking to you. Ah! What? Have you gone crazy? Have you gone crazy? I, I came in here to sit down and think about my life. And you followed me to create more trouble. Are you stupid? Wait. Philip, you slapped me. I'll slap you again. You slapped a princess. The mother. <laughs> Candy, you slapped me. 
You slap me first, and thou I have my fingers. Yes. All right. You know what? I am done. I am done with you. Hmm. I am tired. I have tolerated your excesses. Listen, I actually came in here to think of how to run away from you. To bring myself out of everything you have put me through. And you're still here. Trying to create more sorrow. Hmm. Trying to add more sorrow to my life. Hmm. There is no peace for the wicked. Oh yes, you heard me. No peace for the wicked. You brought me out of my husband's house. I was happily married. You brought me out. You deceived me into marrying you. And made me commit that terrible abortion that has changed my entire existence. People should start fighting. I can't marry your friend. People should start fighting. You must be out of your mind. You should blame your mother and your brother for ruining your life. Yes. Their quest for material things ruined your life, and I blame myself for putting myself into this mess. Really? Yes. You were the one that sent your people to deceive me into marrying you. Philip, when you came back from overseas and saw that I was already married, why did you move on? I ask you, why did you move on, Philip? Fighting is not the best thing. Let her go back to her father's house. We're not marrying again. Huh? Did I hear that right? Oh, that is your plan. I see. <laughs> you will have to achieve that plan when I am dead because I'm not leaving this house. Once again, Philip, you deceived me. You brought me back to Nigeria because you told me that we are coming back for a solution. But look at it. I didn't know that you have your plans already with your mother. It will not happen over my dead body. I'm not going anywhere. Rubbish. I am not going anywhere. I know. I know. I'm not matured. I know. Matured man. It's a maturity. I'm not going anywhere. And I'm still talking to you. Come back. We're not done. Come back. Philip. Come back. You want to go and discuss with your mother? Okay? Open this door. Open this door. Wait, you are beating me because 
because of this be my house. You are missing me because of this thing. I'll kill you. The real war has just started. I'll kill you. Wait for me. Leave. Help. Leave. Wait for me. He said you should leave. He's not marrying you again, no. Leave. Wait leave for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. The real war has just started. Wait for me. 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 somewhere. It's a contractual thing because I insisted that uh, the quality of the water should be improved. Mm -hmm. So there are some other facilities they are trying to install. Uh, you trust me? I, agree. I trust you on that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone. I murdered Sunday in cold blood. I'm a murderer. What have I done? Am I cursed? Are the gods after me? Maybe the gods pushed me to do this. When am I going to be free from this curse? What have I done? 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 My princess, why did you run into the palace like that? What was chasing you? And why are you crying? To me, what's the problem? But I... I 
killed someone. What? You did what? I murdered our gate man. But well, he cost it, father. He cost it. My, my mother-in-law brought a girl from my husband. I was only trying to push a girl out. I was only trying to push her out. But I killed the gate man instead. I, 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 I killed him. I murdered him. I, I, but I... Candy. You killed someone. And you, you ran to the palace? I'm really tired of what is going on in this palace. I don't understand what is really going on anymore. Can't you see how the queen has been struck down with a great illness, which defiled traditional and medical treatments? Eh? The princess has killed someone else and ran to the palace for hiding. See me, I can never feel pity for them. Yes! He that fetches an ant infested firewood invites Lisa to a feast. When the king, Onoo and the elders in council told them to remove the monkey's head from the pot of soup, they were half strong. Now Prince Vena is languishing in the prison yard. So you see? Do you know I also heard that when they went to America, Dr. Philip gave him a job to do so he could earn some pay. But he bluntly refused. Instead, he went into a cocaine business. A drug business. Cocaine business. Hmm. We are all there. When the drug enforcement agents came to arrest them, he just wanted fast money. Bata and Wichi get rich today and die tomorrow. Yes. They were costs. Why don't they be cost? After what they did to an innocent man. Just one year. Just a year he traveled to America with Dr. Philip. He came back with so much money. Going around the village, making noise in an unusual way. Throwing money everywhere. Not caring whose us was God. So you see, they put it upon themselves and I don't feel any pity for them. <laughs> Now your business, son. That's your business. If I have money, now my business. That's your business. 
yes. So mom, where is that? Oh, he went out. Oh, he went out to one of his meetings. Come, okay, let's go inside. Oh, yes, I have a note. A note inside the no, car. No, 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 um, no. Call the gas lady. Call the station inside the car, right? What are you doing there? Come on, will you come and pick the money? Look at him like coconut egg. All right, after that, you call them to. I came back with some yes, 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 yes. You figure it out, right? Okay. Mom, let's go inside. Wait, wait, wait. Give me, give me. Eh. <laughs> Mommy, oh. I have enough money. I know you have enough money. They'll bring it inside for you. Don't I'll worry, love. don't worry. Eh. Let me have those. <laughs> come on, come on, give me. <laughs> Did you eat? Hey, my mother. Ah, uh, you know me with money. You like money. Yeah, of course, hey. I love money. Don't worry, I'll you fix You know money I'll, talks and bullshit. I'll fix your account. Huh? Really? I'll fix your account. I can't wait to, you know, <laughs> my goals. Yes, enjoy. Come on, let me have those. Enjoy. Hey. Yeah. Look at, look at this one there. Hey. Pick it. Hey. And I want, yeah, yeah, pick hey. it. Hey, mommy, I love them for you. I like doing that. No, 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 son. You don't know these girls. Yeah. I would give them money, but not in dollars. Something like that. Come on, let's go inside. Fix the pool. Oh, yeah. Come on, be quick. Make sure the line is set. Oh, really? Oh, you know what? Since morning, when me and you there here, we never see any job. Too. Even one single job, we never see. Work will come. I know, I don't tire. I don't tire for this messing work. See, no opportunity I didn't find. Just small opportunity. I Let person show me where. Let them show me where. Where these people they make this money? I won't make that money. I get mine, pass them. Just it be sweet. You want some sheets? Eh, sheets. Sweet they talk. I they do with me. Not the sheets. I don't they chop sheets. Everybody they chop sheets. Rush go. All these flights where they enter your food. You know where the flight go? Come enter your sheets and bread. Now you go chop. Now better food. Now I see sheets and bread. Where you? Oga. 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 We don't have a bread. No, no, I will go see you walk. Okay, 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 Hey, 
Please, be a boss who are now. Hey, please go on. Hey, please. I don't want to come on. Hey, I don't want to come I told you. Hey, 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 I'm a enemy sinter. I'm a enemy sinter. money. I am not Obaino. Obaino, too much money. Sinter. Hey. What goes around, baby? What goes around? What goes around? It must come around. It must come around. I can see that you've been drinking. You have drunk yourself to stupor. Oh, Father, I had just a few glasses of uh, champagne. I went out with friends. Eh? We had fun. We had so much time out. These are friends that I left over here before I went to the States. You know? hmm? Then, hmm? what is it that I'm hearing? That you are throwing money around the streets of this kingdom? Father, I wasn't throwing money. 
All it did give away to a few of my friends and some villagers. Huh? Just to give away, nothing more. Mm -hmm. And you think that is the best way of doing giveaway? Throwing money all over the place? Mm -hmm. Is there anything bad with giveaway? I just did give away. You know, I cannot go to their houses because uh, you are the king. You know your people. I wouldn't want them to poison me for extending my hand of benevolence to them. <laughs> you are now the carrier of the spirit of benevolence, right? Then... You traveled to the United States of America with your sister and the husband. You spent barely one year over there. Now, what am I saying? You've made so much money, you have thrown money around, you've acquired so many houses, fleet of cars, and I hear that uh, you have so many shares in several companies. So tell me, what businesses did you do over there that uh, made you acquire so much money to throw around as a benevolent uh, spirit man? But I do buy and sell it. Buying and selling. If I may ask, what exactly do you buy and sell, or did you buy and sell? But I buy and sell human parts. Excuse me? <laughs> I, uh, I, was, I was joking. Eh? I buy and sell cars, old man. What do you want to hear? Eh? <laughs> mm. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I don't believe you. I mean, how can you acquire so much money buying and selling cars? Uh, well, I have other businesses that I, I run. I add to it. Huh? That's what I want to hear. So now, can you name the businesses one by one? But I don't get you. Eh? What is all this now? What is all this? I know you as the king, yes. But I didn't know that you have turned to an interrogative agent. My honorable prince, then. Stop. Stop rigmaroling. Stop rigmaroling. I mean, you are just beating around the bush. Just name the businesses for me. That is just all I ask. Okay? Hit the nail on the head. If you don't mind, I have other things I'm doing. I'll you. Will you keep quiet? I'm bugging you? Yes. Your father is bugging you? Yes. Anyway. Then. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Well, whatever thing you want to think, I don't care. Huh? Why do you want to know everything about me? You want to know how I made money? How I don't get it. Don't you like money? Huh? Let me tell you something, Father. A shower no be walk. No means say they no go they do harm. You go they manage them when hunger no finish you. Huh? Eh? I call, sir. Alcohol that you consume is oozing all over the place. You are under an influence of a spirit that I cannot just comprehend. But I have money. I do it. How I want, I do. 
I have money. You want to fight me? I'm ready to fight you back. I have money now. I want us to go to the headquarters. Anywhere you want us to go to, I will go with you. I have money, please. Allow me. Stop stressing me. Huh? Stop stressing me. You want to know when to do this. Want to, whatever thing I like, let me do. I don't want to. Like I said, I told you. I shall want to be work. But the manager. I can also. King, allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. I want to know everything. I want to know what do you do for a living? How do you make money out of it? I have money. Enjoy the money. Stop asking me about the money. Stop asking me about It took you what seems like eternity to come answer my call. Well, what were you doing in your room that you kept me waiting endlessly? Well, mother, I'm here now. So tell me what you want us to discuss. Well, I am worried the way you spend the money upon your return. It gives me cause to worry. As if you're done, Bote. <laughs> Mother. Your son. Aluciana Fuaya. Is richer than Dan Kote. In cash. I mean, in cash. Everyone <laughs> That's the reality. Eh? So you have to adapt to the reality. Hmm. Barely a year plus. Just a year plus you went to the United States of America and returned. Now you're claiming to be richer than the richest man in the country ever heard. Mother, isn't that what you want to think? Eh? You wanted someone that is rich. More reason you destroyed your daughter's marriage to that poor classroom teacher because he is poor. So you wanted someone richer. Now your son is rich and you're still complaining. Why are you complaining, mother? Well, since you claim to be richer than the richest person ever. Mm -hmm. I want you to get married. Start your own family. Build your own home. Why? No, no, no. Oh, give me no mama. I Why? don't want to get married yet. Okay? I still want to enjoy my youthful age. Mother, I have money. I have no I, no, I just made money. I have no money. You know, marriage is filled with all these uh, issues, blah, 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 blah. The fighting with one's daughter. The son does not have strength for all that. Eh? You don't want to have issues with someone's daughter. Allow me to enjoy myself. I'll marry later, right? Do you know you're already 28, going to 29 years? Mm -hmm. Your mates are all married. With children. Mm, I know. But need I remind you that some of my mates are late as we speak. Do you consider that too? Well, you're still breathing. Yes. I want to carry my grandchildren. Okay. You will. You will. 
Well, you have a daughter, right? Your daughter, Princess Candy, and her husband will give you a beautiful or handsome grandson or granddaughter in no distant time. But for me, come to me out, uh, and um, and um, uh, will be uh, uh, make money and chop money before we carry somebody's daughter. <laughs> oh yes, for me, I want to tell you something. Stop comparing me with my mates. As I speak, your son is worth half a billion man. None of my mates, none of them even have 300 million in their account. No more. I will see an acquire. Okay, moon, a joker. I want half a billion, over half a billion there. 600 million. Why don't you get married and feed your children with that money? Give them better life. No, I, will, I, will, I will get married. I will get married when I get to my early 30s, okay? Don't worry yourself. Huh? Excuse me. Huh? Don't worry yourself. Any more reason I think? You want to be here? No, Okay. I'm saying so. No discussion. Uh, Someone can go and have some things and smoke. Then calm my nerves. Let me smoke and calm my nerves. Enjoy myself. You still have time. Ah, then I think. I don't think. I Lineage. His behaving word. I need to carry my grandchildren from him. Yes. Children, please, I'm begging you. Is this constant cough? I don't know where it's coming from. Anytime I cough and spit out saliva, it comes out with blood clots. Yes, I was thinking it's an ordinary cough. Now it has escalated to something else. <coughs> 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 Run several tests. I mean, tests upon tests, but nothing came out. Yes, I have. I have tried herbal medicine, which you know, Wobrat. 
But instead of subsiding it, it aggravated it more. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Why are you holding my son? Your son is a cocaine trafficker who breathes on cocaine business. If we arrested your son at the airport while he's trying to traffic a drug from Nigeria then to Brazil. Did you say you arrested my son at the airport? Yes, Igwe. We saw 10 kg of each drug in your son's luggage. Vena, you are supposed to be in the United States of America. What are you doing in Nigeria? So, you do drugs. I asked you the other time how you made your money. You told me you were buying and selling cars. So, you are a drug pusher. This man is not my son. My son cannot be a drug pusher. Take him away. What goes around, what goes around it must come around. It must come around. What goes around, must come around. What goes around, must come around. What goes around, must come around. It all happened before our very eyes. They're just paying for their sins. As for me, it is none of my business whether they come out of it or not. Iyonyo Chokov. Yes. Trouble was just on his own, sleeping. He just went and woke it up. Oh hey. Everything the prince acquired with his illegal money was even so before he could regain freedom. <laughs> because of him, Baba decided to stay back in Lagos. <laughs> I wouldn't feel sorry for the king. Not that arrogant ones. You see, a man who hates trouble, mm. and you can never see him meddling into one. That's right. Our people say, mm -hmm. But please, me, I'm not in for all this. I want to just go and arrest my boys. Before you know it now, the queen will require assistance from any of us and be very, very tired. Please. Honestly speaking, man. I am tired of this job. I just want to leave this palace. If not for the salary they are paying me, ha, I know myself. I would have been long gone. <sighs> My sister, same here. I'm tired of working in this palace as a maid. I'm tired though. <laughs> as for me, if you leave, you will just go and start looking for work all over. Yes. In this palace, we die here. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I want to quit, quit. As for me, I'm going to rest. Relax. Come with me. Relax. Yes. I'm not tired. I can't lie about it. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Are we not there yet? My princess, be patient. Before you know it, we'll be there soon. I don't know. I've been driving. This is beginning to look like a roller coaster. I think we should go back. No, no. We have come afar to go back. The moment you understand that nothing good comes easy, 
the better. But we've been driving for a long time. Eh? We've, been, we've been driving for a long time. I mean, I'm, I'm beginning to be scared. I'm, 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 I'm afraid. I'm my scared. princess, my princess, don't worry. Eh? All we seek for is the solution to this catastrophe that has hit the royal family. We must get to the root. Don't worry, keep going. We'll be there soon. No, what is going on? We've been driving for hours. Where is this place? Honestly, I'm tired. I'm tired. My princess, calm down. Don't ah. worry. We are getting close. Eh? Yes, this is what you've been telling me for hours. I'm not going anywhere again. Please. My princess, let us go. We are almost there. No, this is what you've been saying. You know why I'm tired? I am tired. You, you know the problem we are facing in, in the royal family. Eh? I am here to get to the root of everything. Just keep going. We will be there before you know it. Just be patient. I've been driving for hours. I'm tired. Oh, I will turn again. Yes. No, I will turn again. Yes. I've been turning. Just calm down. I know how you feel. Just calm down. Strange being with four eyes and four ears. The cripple that run faster than the antelope. Hey! Odogu. The dry meat that fills the mouth. Seer of evil and good spirits. Teller of fortune and misfortune. Atayo. Hmm? Temple justice with mercy. We beseech you. Igiri gogo anu gaga npe odogu agba oso oko Jesus God of the great Lord the man God smile and pray to the great God of good mercy Great Nkume we are here to appease the gods of the innocent baby that was killed by she idiocy and also the gods of fertility not every brother can be wanted anyhow. Our baby will have to come to cover up his sins. Be honest with you. Thank you, little woman. Great woman, we shall do as you have said. Mm. She shall be here at the time of the day. Repeat after me. The gods of Umuchi Kingdom. The gods of Umuchi Kingdom. I have come before you. I have come before you. On this Ekemaket day. On this Ekemaket day. I have come for you to show me mercy and compassion. I have come for you to show me mercy and compassion. For the great evil I did against you. For the great evil I did against you. 
The gods of fertility and my unborn baby. The gods of fertility and my unborn baby. My unborn baby, I am deeply sorry for hurting you. My unborn baby, I am deeply sorry for hurting you. Forgive me for I have sinned against you greatly. Forgive me for I have sinned against you greatly. Take away the spell and curse from my life. Take away the spell and curse from my life. And every other person that partook on it. And every other person that partook on it. Wave the egg over your head four times and say. Eke, Unko, Ori, Afo. Remove this spell and curse on our lives, using it as a point of contact. Remove this spell and curse on our lives, using me as a point of contact. Wave the hell before you. Open the gate!
I'm sorry for everything I made you go through. Please. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. I still love you. Please forgive me. I, I didn't know what I was doing. Please forgive me. It's okay. Honey, please get up. I love you. You are the love of my life. Please, I'm forgiving you. You are forgiving me. Yes. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What goes around, baby? What goes around? What goes around did my stuff? It must come around. What goes around? And I must come around. What goes around must come around. Come around, must come around, must come around. It must come around. 